What's going on, YouTube? Happy Tuesday. Happy Valentine's Day to those of you out there. And the title is correct. Allen Iverson is broke. A judge sees this account because he owes a jeweler $860,000. And before I even get into this video, I want to say something. I made a video many months ago about Puff Daddy buying his car, his, his son a 300 and something thousand dollar car. And a lot of people came back with comments like, what do you know? You're just some broke guy on here on YouTube, whatever. These guys have money. <laughs> you see, there's a rule out there. I don't care how much money you have. If you break the rules when it comes to money, you're not going to have any. You still have to live below your means. You still have to understand that what I'm currently doing right now may not last for the rest of my life. You see, these guys get this God complex that this money never ends. I have more money than God. I can do anything I want to do. I'm going to go buy my mom a house. All my friends who didn't make it, who are struggling in the hood or whatever you are, struggling, I want to go back and help these guys. But let me ask you a question. How is throwing money at people going to help them? You ever heard of that analogy of if you feed a cat, the cat will keep returning back and, you know, over and over and over again because he knows what that food is? That's the same thing for human beings. If you give them money and they don't know how to make that type of money, right? What's a couple things are going to happen. Either they're going to get lazy and depend on you because they can't make money like you because you're making all this money very fast. Now, I can take some pressure off myself and don't worry on growing and building myself as an individual. I'll just rely on you. And I'll, hey, if you need me to do anything, you know, like he, let's say he would take hairdressers on the, on the road with them. You know, he would buy his mom a lot of jewelry. And I want to say something. This is... This is not to disrespect any moms or anything out there, but I notice a lot of athletes do this. They say, hey, you know, I want to buy a home for my family and all this other kind of stuff because my mom raised me. But isn't that what mom's supposed to do? When you have a kid, when you bring a kid in this world, aren't you supposed to do that? You know, but I don't know. And, and, and you know, I know, some of you may differ on that, but I'm just saying, look, you got to set your financial house in order. I don't care how much money you make. You know, these athletes are just hanging themselves. They're just jumping off the cliff daily when it comes to money. They throw money at things. They don't learn business. They don't learn things. They think I can just, I'm going to be in the NBA for 45, 50 years. Because when I get out of the NBA, all that money I made in the NBA, it's going to still come. No. So I just want to see you guys' opinion on this. You know, I'll put the link in there also about uh, what's going on with Alan. You can read it for yourself. I just want to see your opinion on this issue. But yeah, Alan Iverson is broke. And also I heard too that he's trying to come back into the NBA. I don't know if that's going to be a success or not, but we'll stay tuned. So until next time, guys, signing off.